I'm very excited to announce that John Travolta will be playing John Gotti, Sr. <laughs> we needed an icon. John Gotti, Sr. is an icon. Like it or not, he's an icon. And we were looking for an actor who was an icon. But above and beyond John Travolta being an icon, we needed someone who could become John Gotti. The man is legendary, so is John Travolta, and he is going to do the part justice. Thank you, John. Well, this is probably the most uh, interesting untold story in, in, in this country. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what a character to, uh, to approach and to understand. And uh, meeting John Gotti Jr. was one of the, the pleasures I've had uh, that uh, sent me over the top recently. This beautiful love that uh, I feel from this family is such an interesting dichotomy to the illusion uh, that the family has. And the John Gotti uh, Sr. character is filled with, with incredible dichotomies. And um, I, I, I like the glamour, I like the humor that he has. He entertained the press very well. He uh, charmed them, he charmed his fans. I think all these things, uh, with a script that, that, that captures it, will be wonderful to play. Mr. Gotti, was your dad a John Travolta fan? And would your dad think that John Travolta was a good fit to play him? Absolutely and absolutely. <laughs> yes. In the, in the 70s and 80s, who wasn't a John Travolta fan? Who wasn't? I know for firsthand, and I think it was on television, that Lindsay Lohan happens to be a very big fan of mine. <laughs> so, uh... I, I've always thought she was gorgeous and talented and uh, filled with a lot of depth. When Mark and I had first met, we had a, a lengthy discussion, we had a lunch together, and uh, what I brought away from that lunch was that we were gonna have the ability to write history correctly and accurately, and that meant the most to me. What excited me when I first met with John Jr. is he allowed us a real insider's look. We, our writing team, not only interviewed John Jr. for about five or six months, they interviewed his mother, Victoria, his two sisters, Angel and Victoria, and his brother, Peter, his attorney, Charlie Canisi, and many people in the community that the Gottis live in. And I will tell you, this is an open door insider's look that you've never seen before. This is a father and son story. This is, this is not a, a mob movie. This is a truly a relationship between John Jr. and John Sr. What they're gonna learn about my father and I, that it was a relationship basically where I was, for the most part, raised in visiting rooms of various prisons throughout the country, as were my siblings, because that was the life that my father chose and he had lived. There's a lifestyle that, that, that people pay a high penalty for, and, and, uh, and, and maybe at the end of the movie you'll say, you know, for all that you get from it, is, is it ultimately worth the paranoia and worth the fear and worth the family at risk and uh, all these interesting questions that you have to to say, and I would love the audience to be challenged with, uh, with these questions, you know. Many times you hear people say that, you know, John Gotti was a killer, John Gotti was a gangster, he was this, he was that. Yeah, he was. He made a choice to be something in his life, and he stood true to those convictions. He never one time deviated from that path, not once. And in the end, when he had an opportunity to say, Uncle, he believed he was right, he stood his course, and he suffered. He suffered greatly. When I spoke to Mark, I said, what's most important to me at the end, when people walk away, after watching this movie, they can draw their own conclusions, they can say John was a good guy, John was a bad guy, I liked him, I dislike him, but he most certainly paid for his sins. He suffered and he paid for his sins like a man. Great, thank you. I've been speaking to some of the producers and Mark Fiore and we're discussing me possibly having a role in the film, which is very exciting. Yeah, I think it's an amazing story and the things that um, the Gaudis have gone through over the years and just everything that comes with that family I think is an incredible story to tell. I am obviously a fan of John Travolta. Well, it was an offer I couldn't refuse to quote somebody else. Uh, it was uh, being uh, presented to me over a year's time 
uh, Marty Ingalls would send me notes about my being in this movie, and I thought, well, this is fun, an interesting idea. And then a year later, it became a real offer. And I said, well, let me read the script. And I read the script, it was very good. And I said, you know what? This is right up my alley. This is something I should probably do. The only one I can see is him. John Travolta, because he could do anything he wants and still be likable. And I think that was a quality that John Gotti had. Uh, you know, obviously he was in the life, but he was a very likable human being. People loved him. So I think John Travolta, not only being a great actor, has that quality. I'm really good friends with Mark Fury, and uh, I love the project. And Mark was talking to me about, uh, we're, talking, we're in discussions about a role, so we'll see what happens. First of all, this country, for some crazy reason, isn't thrilled by the mob. It's there. It's a backdrop, and it's only a backdrop. This is more a father and son story. This is more a love story. But it's about the common ground that we stood on. It's about our history and what we were.